गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अगेन पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू अवर एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड टू फिफ्थ चैप्टर दैट इज एम एंड एफ एम डिटेक्शन मेथड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द टाइप्स रिलेटेड टू एम डिटेक्शन मेथड द रेस्ट ऑफ पार्ट रिलेटेड टू एफ एम डिटेक्शन मेथड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एफ एम डिटेक्शन मेथड सिंपल स्लोप डिटेक्टर एंड बैलेंस लो स्लोप डिटेक्टर डिटेल स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड ऑलरेडी अलॉन्ग विथ दैट नेक्स्ट टाइप रिलेटेड टू दैट एफ एम डिटेक्शन मेथड इज ए फेस डिस्क्रिमिनेटर दैट फेस डिस्क्रिमिनेटर मेथड इज ए डिजाइन बाय दैट फॉस्टर साइंटिस्ट फॉर दैट पर्पज दैट फेस डिस्क्रिमिनेटर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए फॉस्टर सिली डिस्क्रिमिनेटर अगेन जस्ट बाय ऑब्जर्विंग दैट सर्किट डायग्राम रिलेटेड टू दैट फेस डिस्क्रिमिनेटर दैट इज फॉस्टर सिली डिस्क्रिमिनेटर इट इज अगेन इन्वॉल्व अलॉन्ग विथ दैट बैलेंस स्लोप डिटेक्टर here first is a simple slope detector one structure here it is represented as a simple slope detector two structure by combining that simple slope detector one and simple slope detector two these two combined structure forms that balanced slope detector but that balanced slope detector is a uh, divided by using a center tap frequency and one of the basic difference in between that balanced slope detector and phase discriminator is that the uh, phosphor silicon discriminator cannot uh, um, use that Uh, or balanced slope detector is having input in a same structure but that phase discriminator has a input in uh, uh, present at a different phases that means what whatever the inputs you, you, we are going to continuously applying for that uh, uh, phosphor silicon discriminator these all these inputs are out of phase from each other if you compare this circuit with the balanced slope detector then we can find that the diode and the load arrangement is the same as both of that circuit but the method applying for the input voltage to the diode which is a proportional to the frequency deviation it is entirely different from that phosphor silicon discriminator thus it is derived from that balanced slope detector here the primary and secondary here the primary and secondary winding both are divided by the center tap frequency fc which from incoming signal this simplifies the tuning process greater extent and it will be yield better linearity from that balanced slope detector then principle related to that phosphor silicon discriminator is here i have shown that principle is a totally dependent upon that primary and secondary winding turned circuit are tuned at the same center frequency that is here i have shown that is fc the voltage applied for the two diode d1 and d2 which are constant here just see that diode d1 and d2 whichever here connected the voltage applied across that diode d1 and d2 are the constant in then that voltage is a very depending upon the input signal which is applied here and this is a due to change in a phase shift in between primary and secondary winding uh, depending upon that input frequency this is the total principle related to phosphor silicon discriminator then for the performance and operation purpose this circuit is a simplified here i have shown here that is here a coupling capacitor cp is used and that all all these this r3 c3 and r4 c3 uh, r4 c4 are the ripple filters are connected towards that ground just so it show here Uh, shown here and that center set tap frequency can divide the voltage across same points that is a half vab half vab v va that is a voltage across that a ripple factor and vb is the voltage drop across b ripple factor then the total output related to this circuit is a vab Mm, just we have observed here Up, uh, depending upon that the capacitor cp is a coupling capacitor which passes through all the frequencies at the input center and the ta uh, tra transformer secondary that is a c4 will be passes the resistance r4 as the r4 is a greater than the impedance x uh, x c4 therefore the voltage rfc will be equal to the input voltage v1 voltage v uh, rfc is equal to v1 it can be proved that the secondary voltage vab gets divided equally across the upper and lower walls of the upper and lower wall of the capacitor for that purpose that circuit is divided as a positive negative positive negative like this one half vab one half vab that is the output voltage is a vab and the input voltage which is supplied to that circuit is a v1 considered as a v1 thus the equivalent circuit for the phase discriminator just we have observed here along with that rc ripple filter so that is a low pass filter which is connected for the demodulation purpose thus the input of each diode is equal to the vector sum of the primary voltage v1 and half secondary voltage that is a 1 by 2 vab the vector sum should be taken because these voltages are not in phase with each other that means these all the voltages are out of phase with each other for that purpose this type is called as a phase discriminator or phosphor silicon discriminator the phase shift between primary and secondary voltage is not constant but it is a dependent upon the input frequency and the efficient of this is a applied below 
then the output of this voltage of the discriminator is given by then we have just seen that all the phases are divided into different subcategories depending upon that the whatever the output introduced by that foster cell discriminator or phase discriminator we are going to study here then the total output voltage will be phase discriminator is equal to the difference between the output voltage uh, and two diode rectifiers that is the output voltage v0 is equal to va dash v dash that is the basic difference in between first part and second part va0 minus vb0 as shown in here as the diode drops are not known we cannot calculate the output exactly but it is assured that the output will be proportional to the voltage applied at the input of diode d1 and d2 for that purpose the output voltage is exactly proportional to vz va0 minus vb0 thus the output voltage is again categorized depending upon the center type frequency and input frequency whichever the input frequency is applied to that circuit depending upon that there is a three types of relation in between two components that is a input frequency is equal to center type frequency input frequency is a greater than center type frequency and input frequency is a less than center type frequency depending upon these three types of relation what is the phases phase diagram changes according to this we are going to study here apart from the three first three types first of type here we are going to study here that is the output voltage at f in is equal to f c that means input frequency is equal to center type frequency what are those changes goes on here that is the input frequency is equal to center type frequency we are going to study here just see here uh, input frequency is equal to center type frequency at that point the input uh, center type frequency will be divided that voltage va0 and va vb0 equally along with that 90 degree angle that is the input voltage to diode d1 and here is the input voltage to diode d2 and the primary voltage will divide equally all this diode d1 and d2 for that purpose here what we observe that 1 by 2 vab 1 by 2 vab is are these are the equal voltages are induced in the two walls of the second the secondary transformer that is a phasor diagram for f in is equal to fc that is both f in and fc both are and 90 degree with his uh, 90 degree out of phase with each other this is the part related to f in is equal to fc where the input frequency is equal to the center type frequency the phase shift treatment between primary and secondary is exactly 90 degree just i have shown uh, in previously diagram here the angle shows us that it is a exactly 90 degree phase shift just here mentioned that therefore the input voltage to both the diodes will be equal to as shown in the figure therefore the output for both the diodes will be equal hence the net output will be zero that means the resultant output both the diodes are exactly uh, 90 degree uh, phase for that purpose they are equal to be zero the next categorization that is the input frequency is a greater than center type frequency at that time input frequency is greater than center type frequency at that point the angle came which is uh, less than 90 degree uh, just here uh, observe uh, here that less than 90 degree that means vab is a greater and vb0 is a less that is a reduced phase shift due to increased frequency that means here whatever the output we are getting that output is a less than 90 degree here I have mentioned that input frequency above the center type frequency of C that is the secondary voltage VAB leads the primary voltage V1 less than 90 degree. Hence the input voltage to diode D1 and VA0 is a higher than that of the input to diode D2. Uh, that is VV0 the output voltage will be therefore be positive that is the F in is a greater than FC that means output voltage is a positive for F in is a greater than FC f in is equal to fc that output voltage is exactly equal to zero and what about that f in is less than fc here approximately or by default here the output voltage must be negative came into picture just see here it is a phase shifting will be increased apart from that 90 degree for that purpose here what is mentioned that is the increased phase shift due to reduced frequency that is a minus 1 by 2 vab this is the primary voltage dividation point related to input voltage to diode d1 and input voltage to diode d2 then for input frequencies below the center frequency fc the secondary voltage vab leads the primary voltage v1 by more than 90 degree as shown in figure here here we just observe this angle goes from above 90 degree for that purpose this is a leading angle and uh, this is a lagging angle and uh, fn is equal to ft at that case this is a uh, f is equal to fc at that case it is a angle is a 90 degree like this 
नाइंटी एक्जैक्टली नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल लेस देन नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल ग्रेटर देन नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल दीज थ्री एंगल्स विल शो जस दैट वॉट एवर द आउटपुट गेटिंग फ्रॉम दैट फर्स्ट सिली डिस्क्रिमिनेटर इज रिलेटेड टू एक्जैक्टली इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज ए पॉजिटिवली इंक्रीजिंग इट इज ए निगेटिवली इंक्रीजिंग सो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज ऑल दिस पॉइंट then the advantages of this phase discriminator what are the advantages related to that phase discriminator along with that balanced modulator we are going to study first one is it is a more easier to align that is a tune than that of a balanced slope detector as there are only a two tuned circuits and both are tuned at the same center frequency both the circuits are tuned for the same center frequency that is fc for that purpose it is a more advantages in comparison with balanced slope detector then next uh, advantages point related to that foster silly discriminator is related to linearity is a greater than because of that operation of that circuit is a totally dependent more on the primary and secondary phase relationship which is a very much linear this is a related to uh, advantages point related to that foster silly discriminator along with this advantages point there are some disadvantages point related to that foster silly discriminator these are the disadvantages point i am going to show you Uh, it does not uh, uh, provide any amplitude limiting so uh, in presence of the noise or any other suspicious uh, amplitude variations the demodulator output respond to then produces an error that means we have seen earlier then here uh, although this is the uh, frequency modulation related circuit but frequency modulation does not demodulate the signal as it is originally for the demodulation purpose of that frequency modulation first we have to convert that frequency modulated signal into amplitude modulated signal and then the amplitude is a converted into original format this is the process related to detection or demodulation purpose related to frequency modulated signal for that purpose the disadvantages point related to that amplitude limitations is uh, while varying any kind of a uh, parameter related to signal amplitude also goes on varying and this is the suspicious amplitude variation related to demodulator for that output response to them and produces an error and according to that like our balanced slope detector this is a, also foster silly uh, discriminator can gives us this is a decreasing curve this is a linear range and this is a uh, again increasing decreasing curve like s yes, shape for that purpose our foster silly discriminator as well as balanced slope detector will give us s yes, shape curve related to linearity in nature and the output which is introduced or frequency demodulator circuit which will be uh, produce a output uh, having very very linear nature for that purpose that phase discriminator is a more advantageous in comparison with balanced slope detector uh, today i am going to uh, convey one message related to that fm detection is firstly by using tuned circuit we have designed that simple slope detector simple slope detector is having some disadvantages point we have come overcome along with that disadvantages point by using that that balanced balanced modulator but balanced modulator cannot give uh, cannot gives us or produces us that much of efficiency that efficiency is uh, drawback overcome by using that phase discriminator or foster silly discriminator Uh, only one part of it is related to that fm detector uh, remaining and that uh, we will discuss onwards okay thank you